ZQS 5 has finally arrived, but there's a catch. It only runs on one watch for now, the Amazfit Balance 2. And not just any version of it. The new OS made its debut last week on the Chinese model, and that's the only place you'll find it so far. So what's new in ZEPOS 5? Let's break it down. I haven't tested the version of the operating system just yet because it's not available here in the UK, but I've gathered info from uh, users in China and other places. So this info is based on those sources. Now one of the more noticeable changes is a zoom in mode. You just double tap the lower physical button and it pulls up a screen magnifier. Then you can move it around with your finger to enlarge parts of the display. It's not flashy, but if you've ever struggled to read your stats in bright sunlight, this could help. Another small but useful feature is glove mode. It basically makes the touch screen easier to use when wearing gloves. Not something you'll need indoors, but it should come in handy during those cold winter runs or hikes. There's also a new app called Time Difference Manager. It's designed for frequent travelers. It shows you how far along you're in uh, adjusting to a new time zone and gives basic guidance for easing jet lag. Garmin users uh, will recognize the concept, which, but it's uh, new to Zep. Now, uh, here's something that might appeal to music lovers. There are signs uh, the OS is starting to support FLAC file transfers. That's a big jump from the current MP3 only system. FLAC means higher quality audio, but the feature doesn't seem fully live just yet. You'll also notice some design tweaks across the system. Nothing major, but enough to smooth out a few rough edges. The layout and structure are still familiar, so there's no learning curve. One more update worth noting, you can now highlight points of interest on the map. That should help when using navigation or reviewing your routes. But ZEPOS 5 isn't done yet. According to support staff, more features are coming in future updates. One of them is adjustable font sizes, which is already being tested. A long requested feature for those who find the text too small or hard to read. What about ZEPPAY? Well, there's still no US launch date. ZEP Health says they're working on it, but mobile payments involve a lot of paperwork and approvals. They need to partner with services like Visa. So far, no clear timeline. Right now, ZEPOS is exclusive to Amazfit Balance 2, which only launched in China a few weeks ago. It hasn't made its way to global markets yet, but the rollout could start anywhere between late June and early September. Other devices like the BIP6 and Active2 are still running uh, version 4.5. Since both of those came out this year, they're probably on the upgrade list. The TRX3 runs on 4.0, but it uses the same chip as the Balance 2, so it's another strong can candidate for the new version of the system. I'll be keeping a close eye on how this rolls out and what gets added next. If you're into Amazfit watches, ZEPOS 5 looks like a solid step forward. <laughs>